Hello YouTube, my name is Hero and today we're going to be discussing a little bit more information about the female striker. I just made a video yesterday giving a quick uh, update about her announcement, but now we have a little bit more information as of today, so I want to cover it here. Um, and I got to get used to calling her Mystic. That's not her name is not female striker anymore. It's Mystic. She has her own identity, the just like every other gender different class so basically what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off with her expected release date for north america now keep in mind she's coming out july 26th now uh, in korea which will be next week which is what i expected it to be and she's going to be uh, available to be played there in korea but however the black desert online official twitter also announced her today and stated that she would be released in q4 which stands for quarter four obviously of the year now quarter four and uh, starts i believe october 1st and anywhere between october 1st to december 31st so pretty much october is what i expect but the thing is it's, it's it seems like that's very far away if you think about it we still have august and september so this thing we won't be seeing this uh, character according to the official black desert twitter for another two months which is very interesting when you consider that striker was rushed or not rushed but released very quickly to north america server within a month of his release so it's kind of interesting that we have to wait that long for her to come out which uh, raises a few questions of mine a few speculations i have the first thing of course is the awakening now with the with the kind of initial I hate to say it but failure of the striker awakening when it first came out in korea it received so much backlash from koreans that pearl abyss had to completely um update it and keep patching and things like that i think what they're doing here is they're trying to give the awakening a lot of time because we we all know that female strikers main kit is going to be very 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 much like strikers main kit like pre-awakened kit that's that's obvious it's the awakening that's going to make them different so the mystics awakening is most likely going to be completely different and hopefully is going to be a lot more chi focused rather than physical melee focused like the strikers is because striker and then mystic you could just just the difference of the names kind of give away what they're what they sound like they're going to be what i assume a mystic would be would be more ranged more uh more aura more spiritual kind of thing the kind of thing i wanted striker to be to be honest let's be real and a lot of people wanted strikers awakening to be so uh looks like mystic is going to take up that that part of the awakening now if we can um if we can figure this out some kind of way basically basically in quarter four we have two months until that date arrives so october so in between that two months we're going to get striker in korea obviously this month and next month you can expect the awakening to be out so that gives the game a pretty much a full month in korea with the awakening of female striker in order to test it out see if it's not too op see if it's not too underpowered and then bring it over to na which i think is a better way of doing things it's just very interesting that they're waiting that two month gap so in between that two month gap for north america of us not receiving female striker what will we be getting there are no kind of hints for commissar of part two to be released not even a teaser it's which really boggles my mind that they have already decided the release date of a class that isn't even out yet but they haven't decided the release date of commissar of part two or if they have or or even part one and if they have they don't even want to tell it to us they haven't told us anything about commissar of when it's coming when it may be coming i haven't heard anything about them about that for a long time and i'm trying to figure out why that is i cannot understand why that is but for the gap of the rest of this month we we haven't we are like what what can we possibly get updated i mean really what can we get we can get the new pve mode that they just added recently um and then what else like seriously what else can we get for the next two months other than female striker which is why i'm confused why they're waiting so long to release it unless comma Silve and comma Silve part two are going to be released in the next two months that's the only reason why I could understand them delaying this so long. And also on the Twitter, um, Private Wiggles, which is another Black Desert YouTuber, if you don't know of him, he stated uh, more information and then Black Desert Online trolled him by saying soon TM. And then um, 
he said as long as it's not a striker reskin i'm happy and then he said uh, the black doesn't online twitter says we'll, we'll share some details later but the mystic does have the same theme as striker so pretty much you can pretty much expect uh that it definitely is going to be the same exact thing <laughs> not the same exact thing but very very close just like all the other uh female and male counterpart pre-awakenings they're just so they're like cut, cut and copy there's a few differences but for the most part they're the same so the awakening is probably going to be um the, the you know the awakening is going to see where, where where you see the big difference in between the classes there so i just wanted to go over a few things with you guys i'm really confused as to why quarter four i was definitely expecting this to come out next month in north america just because they've been releasing classes so quickly lately but i mean two months isn't so bad it's not like it's terrible two months is not bad at all it's just what are we going to get in between that time if, if, if not common self a common self part two I don't, I'm, I don't know but uh let me know what you guys think in the comments oh also just so you guys know this is not the new freaking um the, the class that was that was teased before the chinese class that's not you know this this isn't that this is a completely different class so that class is also going to be released after this one i'm pretty sure so look forward to that um and uh all you guys that are upset about why are you guys freaking always adding female classes female classes female cl listen guys there's a couple reasons why MMOs do this. First of all, it's because they want to appeal more to females. They already know guys are going to play these games. It's, they want to appeal more to females. That's the number one thing. And the thing is, guys don't usually have a problem playing as females. And girls don't have a problem playing with guys either. But the more cute girls there are, the better chance of someone playing. You understand? Like That's just, that's just the way it is. They're trying to appeal more to females because the males are going to play anyways. That's the way most MMOs that I've ever known have done it. Not only that, but... um more i'm assuming more girls buy more costumes as well so the females make a little bit more money and it makes sense to reskin a class to make double the money because they don't have to work so hard making the animations for the pre-awakening but they do for the awakening obviously because it's completely different but it's just like a free a free class you know just a reskin of it and then a few different changes and then you know there you go it's a free free class for them to make the other argument is, well, why don't they do that for Ranger, Dark Knight, yada, yada, yada. Some people say it's for the lore. I don't believe in that lore stuff. I think it's simply because um, it's simply because they feel that females are way more profitable than males. I really believe that's what they think. And I mean, if you look at the if you look at the data, it kind of points towards it that, that we have so many female classes and so few males in comparison. And it just keeps getting more and more females. The next two classes are pretty much confirmed that they're going to be females unless they change the chinese class to a male or the quote-unquote tranny that a lot of people think he's going to be a transgender class but i doubt it <laughs> that's just a troll but anyways uh it's definitely going to be a female most likely so uh, the next two classes are most likely going to be female so it's kind of confusing to some people and uh, i understand uh some people being upset about that but hey it is what it is whatever makes them money that's what they're going to do and then the other thing is, will female striker actually end up being better than male striker? That's a thing that another a, a lot of people are concerned about. And I honestly want that to happen just so I can laugh my fucking ass off. But that's just me being an asshole. <laughs> anyways uh i'm done talking shit I, I can't wait to try it out i got a lot of comments on my last video asking me to stream it uh definitely will be streaming it for you guys next week so be sure to tune in i don't stream on twitch i stream on youtube i might i might do the dual twitch youtube stream thing so if you really don't want to watch on youtube you might want to check out my twitch uh, i changed the name to uh lol hero twitch so go check it out uh, follow me on there if you want to be up to date join my discord for notifications when i start streaming it's in the description below and uh let, let me know what you guys think about all the information i just gave through this video it's your boy hero see you guys next time make sure you subscribe if you're not racist peace